Hey, everybody. Another episode in the series, Meet the Leaders here at Lone Depot. We've got our very own Natalie Linston, who is our regional processing director for Orange County. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Hi, Steve. Hey, I'm super excited to talk with you today because I know processing is such a big deal for all the producers out there. And I think of you and your team as a secret weapon for us. So I was hoping, if nothing else, just to have people become familiar with you and how we do processing here and the value it creates for, you know, all the hard work producers do bring in loans in and sometimes the stress associated with that if, if they don't have rock stars working with them. Well, awesome. Yeah, I'm happy to join and, um, you know, share some of the great things that we do here at Loan Depot and the, the reasons why, why I'm here, why people come to Loan Depot. I mean, it is such... It is such a great place to work. It really, really is. Oh, is your dog eating the plant? No, sorry. <laughs> um, hey, the luxuries of us being able to, to work from home. I love it. I know, <laughs> except for the puppy eating the tree. Um, <laughs> hey, I know one of the things that we've been really working on over the last few years is, you know, mellow clear and leveraging technology. Can you kind of break down that and how your team is able to kind of be more efficient and some of the things that, you know, help help on that end? Yeah, well, Mellow Clear is just really amazing. Um, before it came out, we really didn't understand like all of what it does, but it like literally, um, it'll, it'll review conditions, it creates conditions, um, it uses uh, artificial intelligence um, and then ICR which is um, our automated labeling system in, in, in four. And so it can issue an initial um, credit decision. So the file literally never even has to touch the underwriter, whether it's a purchase or a refinance. And, um, and really with, with that, it, it'll like when you run it, it'll automatically a clear conditions. And then the coolest part with that is that it really ties in with, um, with the processor's authority as well. So it, it all kind of goes together. And um, so our processors, um, when they come on board, the goal for our processors is to get their lending authority within, um, within like three months, like the first three months, that, that's the big push. Because once they have their lending authority, like technically a file could come in if it's mellow clear approved, and um, it's within the processor's authority to actually uh, final approve the loan. The loan literally never even has to touch an actual underwriter. So the processor can go in and um, final approve the loan, um, send it to closing. And with those, we've seen files close in less than you know two weeks if we get a um, if you get an appraisal waiver and you know you just follow trid guidelines, you can literally you know close a loan in like two weeks. It's Pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, so, so before Mellow Clear, it would go back and forth to underwriting and there'd be a lot more time, right? Right, exactly. So like uh, we found that like Mellow, Mellow Clear, like the turn times have just dramatically increased. Um, you know, our productivity, consistency, even, um, you know, defects too. Um, we're not seeing as many because Mellow Clear like, will go in and clear those conditions. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and then with, I know I talked a little bit about the, um, the processor's authority, but one of the, the great things about having the authority for the processors is that um, they actually get an additional incentive. So um, not only do they make their hourly and then they get the regular monthly bonus the processors, but if they issue final approval, they get an additional $50 for every final approval that they issue. So well, that's I mean, a big I'm, deal. Yeah, it's huge. So, I mean, they can make, they can make a, a good, a good, you know, little extra by final approving. So I know that like literally we, we pull some reporting that shows like, Hey, you know, you can issue final and they're like, they're all over it. So they love so to find these files. Or at this point are almost all the processors, do they have that mellow authority? Yeah, I would say for the most part, um, um, in my region, region 14, we probably have only, I want to say uh, about four or five that don't. And that's only because they're brand new to the company. And so some of them get a little gun shy about taking the mm -hmm. test, but we continue to just tell them, well, hey, take the test. Even if you don't pass, 
you know, you just have, you know, you'll see what it's like when you have the, the ability to retest you know, in a couple of months, then you'll already kind of, and really the testing is not that hard. It's, we use Yoda, which is our, um, um, our lending guide. And so um, really all they have to do is it's open book, they go in and it's, it's really just to test like how you understand Yoda, like how you understand the guidelines and can you make sense of those guidelines? So professionally, a processor has additional skills to add, right? And that's gotta be cool. Is it kind of, is it almost like what older in the old days, like junior underwriters would have done? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. And you'll be surprised. Like we've had some um, processor or I'm sorry, um, loan processing assistants that we have promoted into like a processor one. And they are literally, even they've taken the test and they've passed and it's just really huge. It's definitely growth. Uh, for our team, we love to um, hire from within, and um, like we just had one this morning. Like he's he's so new in the business; he hasn't even been in the business a year, and he was just so good at an LPA that um, we promoted him to an, um, a loan processor one, and we're like loan officers getting rave reviews over you know just how amazing you know he is and stuff. Uh, that's so cool. I like to share with people too, and I know every company does it a little differently, but like. We assign processors to a branch. So loan officers work with the same group of processors. How, how many people are on your team? And like, what are, you have, what are the different roles? And Yeah, so um, we actually, we, we try to set it up and it depends on how big the branch is, to be honest with you. So what we like to do is have one processing manager per branch manager. And again, that does depend on the size of the branch. But um, with that, uh, we, we call it uh, relationship processing, where um, we have, you know, depending on the loan, the loan officer and how many uh, files that they bring in, they may have one dedicated processor. Um, if, in depending, like if their chairman's elite, they definitely have one dedicated processor. They may even have two dedicated processors. And um, with that, they also have a dedicated loan processing assistant, an LPA. And they really were, we found that it just, it's so beneficial because they work so well together. They, they get in a routine of what each other expects and um, they pull up on a regular basis, you know, daily. Um, and it just, it really works. It works awesome. Um, Everything I hear has been fantastic. Um, yeah. what, what has Mellow Authority and Clear done for you as far as like the, the, workload a processor can have? Are they able to have a lot more loans in their pipeline because there's technology is doing a lot of the work so they have more units to deal with on a monthly basis? Yes, they are definitely able to clear more. I mean, we've seen some numbers as much as like 50, 65 loans per month. I mean, wow. it is absolutely incredible. And so actually not only do we have the Mellow Clear, but we also have um, what we call our Mellow Valley team. And so what that is, is we have a specific department, a bunch of tiny little specific departments where uh, we have some that pull, uh, pull our payoffs for us where the processor doesn't even have to request. We have a team that will actually pull those uh, payoffs. Uh, we also have a condo team, a redisclosure team, a hazard team, an appraisal team. We, we have got a lot of different teams. And with that, it's really like what I like to call the processor is more of like the quarterback. Like they are the ones to make sure that, you know, the loan just runs as smoothly as possible. And, you know, we have all these different departments to help, you know, close these loans that much faster. And then um, a new system that we have coming that we're all in training in right now that I'm so excited. It's, um, it's called a fee engine. So oh, I've heard very, about that too. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. So it's, it's pretty new, but it's pretty awesome. So it's really, it's really designed to like streamline our process even more um, as far as like our fees and everything. So when things change, it'll change automatically. It's like, it's, it's just incredible. Like it's, prior to that, and maybe right now before it goes live, you might have to call people and get updated numbers, but this is basically the system. We've got all these vendors programmed in and they're giving us live fees that just get pushed into the documentation for updating. Like, yeah, exactly. Right? exactly. And how much so, time does that save? 
oh my gosh, it is going to be, I mean, it's going to be unbelievable how much time that's going to save. I mean, the back and forth, not only for CD, but then when you go into docs and then all that time that the closers have to go back and forth with, with the escrow agent, I mean, and we're talking hours, our closers are going to be able to um, do more CDs, uh, do more, more docs on a daily basis. And I mean, I'm, we're all super, super excited about it. You know, it's funny. I was going to ask you some with like what you're most excited about, but it's like each one of these things in and of themselves is exciting and they're all relatively new too. So it's yeah. a lot of change over a short period of time, but the impact's huge. I've seen just the time frames, And I, I'd also like to think about too, like I hear the communication from your group to the street is great. There's like you had said, relational processing. It's mm-hmm. not people hiding behind computers. There's a lot of, you know, phone mm-hmm. calls and dialogue and just, Hey, let's get this loan done. Here's what we need to do and go do it. Yeah. And then the teams also have the, the best part of having like dedicated, we not only, I even forgot to share with you, we also have dedicated underwriting teams. We have dedicated closing teams. So not only is it just the processor and the loan officer, but we have specific underwriting managers that we deal with. And then one specific closing manager that we work with. And um, it's, it's just awesome because the communication is huge. Um, we also pull up on triangle calls with our underwriting team. So, and we do that monthly. So with that, we've got all of the all of the um, underwriting managers and then the branch managers, myself, processing managers, we all come together and we call it a triangle call because we really talk about best practices, uh, things that, you know, maybe we can improve on and, uh, or what's coming down the line. And it really, it's, it's really awesome. It just really keeps us all connected and on the same page. And um, with that, um, all of the processing managers they pull up on a weekly basis with the teams and um they have pipeline calls and so the pipeline calls just ensures that you know our purchases are closing on time um we're not requesting multiple documents from the borrowers you know it really uh holds folks accountable for what we discuss on the call Um, and this is a call with the branch and loan officers that want to participate mm -hmm. and you and your team right i was on one of those for newport one time and it was really cool. It went from processor and pipeline to the next one. And Mm -hmm. the stuff came up. It was like, Hey, here's the one that we're having trouble with, you know, let's talk about how we could solve these problems and not have trouble with it anymore. Exactly. Exactly. And not all loan officers are required to be on the call or anything like that. Like sometimes it's just like the PAs that um, want to be on the call, but it's really just big. It's, it's just a way for us to identify anything that, you know, um, any hurdles that we may be anticipating and to be ahead of it and not like, you know, come at the last minute and like, oh my gosh, like, what happened? <laughs> the fire, the famous fire drill, right? Exactly. We want to prevent all fire, all fire drills. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I know you've talked about a lot of stuff, but I mean, we're halfway through the year. Is there anything you're like super excited about looking into next year with the progress we've made and where we're at with the group? Well, yeah, we're just constantly seeing so much growth with the group. I mean, with about how many loans that they are, they're able to close this fee engine. I'm super excited about, um, we are definitely still growing in this region. Um, we actually, uh, previous uh, the region grow grew so fast. Uh, Brenda and myself used to be in region two, but region two, we just had so many branches that we ended up splitting it in half and. Um, and just, just incredible growth. And, you know, Anthony's always, always got something technology, you know, up his sleeve and something new, um, up and coming. So I'm always excited to, you know, see what, what's coming next as far as technology, because it just, it just makes us close on so much faster. Yeah. Well, it seems like, and I've, I've only been here for a year and a half now, but it's like, everybody's happy. Everybody communicates there's constant change. So it doesn't ever feel stagnant. And yeah. I know everybody that I've helped recruit over here is really appreciative of you, of you and your team and all you do. And oh. I hear, I talked with one person who started last week and they, they literally were saying like, after they submitted the application, they're like, is this all I have to do? Like lock the loan did all that. But in previous mm-hmm. places, they had to like bird dog the file and there wasn't communication and it just completely took the stress of, you know, that piece of the process mm-hmm. off of their plate. And they're out getting more loans and building relationships, which at the end of the day, you know, is what we're trying to do is free up time, have everybody 
you know, enjoy yeah. each other's company and trust that things will get done. And it's also another, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Steve. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I know everybody appreciates what you do. And I, Aww. you guys are rock stars. So thank you for all you do. Yeah. And another thing is we do have an amazing training department, you know, not only for the sales folks, but also for, you know, all of operations where if there's something that folks don't understand or something's not making sense, we have a whole department that we can go to, to help, you know, little things. And I mean, it's just the communication all around, I would say is the biggest thing that we all really appreciate. And we all pride ourselves in because what's worse when you're, you, um, you know, you can't get an answer. You, you don't have communication. You know, we all come together um, to really, it's all to, you know, close loans faster and, you know, do what we can for the clients because, you know, if this client's happy, the next client's going to be happy and they're going to share, you know, with all their friends and family. So. That's yep. And it keeps about. going. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time and maybe rounding out. I mean, this is all business stuff we're talking about. Who is Natalie outside of Loan Depot and what do you do when you're not, you know, making sure all the loans are getting processed and well, to close. well I, um, I really love to, well, I have a family. Um, I have a family. My kids are older now. My, my son is 19 and my daughter is, is 16. Oh, so they, they keep me busy, but um, outside of the, the husband and the kids, um, I love to exercise. That's my biggest thing. I'm, I'm really into um, hot yoga and ballet bar. So, Ooh. My, yeah, I'm going to have to pick your brain on hot yoga at some point. That seems fun. I've never done it. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> awesome. It is. It's actually incredible. The feeling that you get after, like I take the early, super early morning classes um, to make sure I go because sometimes in the afternoon, um, it's, you get a little lazy and <laughs> I, I like to go in the morning, but it's really, it sets you up for the day. And because I live in um, um, Arizona, uh, Sometimes you go into this hot yoga studio and then they're like, oh, well, we don't even need to uh, we can get because it's, it's, <laughs> it's hotter outside than it is in here. <laughs> it's, all right. Well, I, I totally appreciate your time. Thank you for all you do. And again, your team rocks and we will, we'll keep you busy as we grow and change. And... Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Okay. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye.